Hello boys and girls, welcome back to Let's Play L.A. Noir. A polite invitation is our next arson case. Um, I think it is a follow-up on what we've seen in the previous case with Jack Kelso investigating the Elysian Fields. Medical clinic? Oh yeah, it's, it's Jack. Lichtman. How long have you been sitting there? Not long, Mr. Kelso. You look lovely, Princess. Princess. Really? That exactly caught me at my best. I don't know, but it's okay, Miss Lichtman. I'm a big boy. I don't fancy this I know lady. How to take my licks. Please, call me Elsa. She may be kind and all, okay, but Elsa, what can I do for you? I'd like to explain because I... I can join the dots, Elsa. Cole needs your help, Jack. The police department have frozen him out. Look, you're obviously a brave lady, but you can't fight all Cole's battles for him. I just wanted to apologize for... You don't have to apologize. You were right about Elysian Fields. Tell me something. What was Lou Buckwalter's regular job? He was a carpenter. He built sets for Arkeo, Vona Brothers. Set carpenter? Perfect. If you don't mind, Elsa, I'd like to get a little rest now. I've got a lot more dots to join, and it's making my head hurt. That's perfectly understandable, Mr. Jack. I hope we can meet again under less dramatic circumstances. I hope so too, Princess. I'd like that. <laughs> it's a sparkling between them. You Kelso? Who's asking? Peterson, assistant DA. You're in the wrong building, Peterson. This is a hospital. <laughs> a wise guy. Let me tell you a story, Kelso. Can I get the abridged version? My head hurts. You're a funny guy, Jack. What do you want, Peterson? A colorful character mentioned your name. He said that you might know something about... There's a problem with colorful characters, Peterson. Who's... First they send you over a drink, then they buy you dinner, then you get a phone call in the middle of the night for a favor. Try rubbing shoulders with some solid citizens. They're the ones you're supposed to protect. Who's a colored character? Kelso? For the moment. I'm, I'm going to run for DA, Kelso. The current administration stinks. And you want me to help? I'm looking for a DA's investigator. You get a gun and a badge and $120 a month. I get $150 a month now. I'm going after the vice squad, Kelso. It's going to get me elected. I've got something better. How about Leland Monroe? The property developer? You think I fell down the stairs? What is a DA squad? Is this guy doing vice now or wh who was that I was it somebody from the police department offering us a work as a vice up, princess vice investigator might be the only R and R I get for some time what is R and R Oh look, an antique wheelchair. Oh, from today's point of view it is antique. May have been completely normal in that time. Ah, DA, isn't it district attorney? See you. I still don't know, even if I know that it means district attorney, I still don't know what a district attorney does. And my frame rate, frame rate is 15. I usually 
play with 60 or 30. I don't know what's going on with my computer. I should have restarted before I started recording. This is a really bad frame rate. This guy's got a screw loose. Um, okay. City gate, uh, city hall investigator. A polite invitation. Yeah. Medical clinic? Well, once we are here, let's let's see what they've got to offer here. But I don't really expect to find any clues here. What clues could be here which are related to the case with Curtis Benson? Something in my room, probably. And this is not where I've been. This. Alcohol. Rubbing alcohol. There's a nice room here. Oh, a microscope, look at that. Okay, I don't really expect to find anything here. Get over to my car and drive to. Where do we want to go? Benson's apartment. Lovely place, isn't it? Quite modern. Okay, it's an apartment house, so not everything of it belongs to Benson. Benson is in apartment two. It's good to see you. You've caught me at a slightly inopportune moment. Can we do this some other time? Back off, Curtis. Move away from the door. Jack, there's no call for that. Yeah, I th think so, too. I'll give you that. You try to get me killed, and you still manage to be polite about it. Jack, how could you accuse me of having anything to do with that? I want to know all about you and Monroe, Curtis. You give it up, or I beat it out of you. Get the fuck out of here, Jack. You're fired. Who do you think you are? 
Get out of town now while you still have the chance. You have no idea what kind of forces you're dealing with here. I guess we've exhausted the passive options. <clears throat> Sit tight, Curtis. I'm taking a look around. What is it? He's a rough guy, Kelso. California what? Grow. Eddie Wayson. What exactly do you expect to find, Jack? I'd like to see our record record collection. I don't know Eddie Wayson. I should listen to him. Should eat your bananas. They're turning brown already. Incidental. Jack, you've made a terrible mistake. Get out oh, look, a red can. lipstick on it. Who is the lady? Lipstick. She wouldn't be re wearing any lipstick. She wouldn't leave such traces. Aha, uh -huh. okay, this is the exit. Hmm. What exactly do you expect to find, Jack? Suburban redevelopment. To get all of the stockholders, I need to follow the paper trail. To get all the stockholders, I follow what? The paper trail. Suburban Deve redevelopment fund. This certifies that. Jack, Curtis you've made a terrible mistake. Curtis get out while you can. Benson. In the is the owner of two thousand shares. Of the what? Hmm, value of one hundred dollars each. One hundred dollars each, so it's two hundred thousand dollars he has invested. What exactly do you expect to find, Jack? None in something able capital stock for redevelopment fund all right all right can we zoom on this somehow oh look how the i don't know whether it's an optical illusion no it's actually the reflection of the light from our hand that it changes on the paper jack you've made a terrible mistake nice 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 Get out while you can. So we see he has shares in... How many shares he has in the redevelopment fund? What's in here? Looks like... Oh! How old are you, princess? Sixteen. <laughs> Not bad. How old are you really? Nearly 13. Even better. <laughs> you take love where you can find it as you get older. Love? That has nothing to do with love, Curtis. Some might find your romantic notions endearing, Jack. I find them very tiring. You're finished, Curtis. That remains to be seen, Jack. I haven't told you about my new job, Curtis. Oh. DA's investigator. What do you think the DA reports to, Jack? Yeah, that's 
Good question. Get dressed, you're getting out of here. He's not so bad. He just lays on top of me and grunts for a few minutes. He's kind. And he buys me nice things. Get dressed, you're leaving. She will only come back. Still, did she leave it? Yeah, let's see what was in there. It's a it's tobacco, isn't it? Yeah, it's cigars. Gonna go. So okay, we didn't find anything but the but the shares, really. This child being here is a different kind of case. I'm not sure we will investigate that. What is this? Okay, let's talk. I want answers, Curtis. So pay attention. Please, Jack. I'm not a violent man. I don't get it, Curtis. You're vice president of the company. Why take the risk? It's a simple business transaction, dear boy. Transaction. I want to view my. This is not a simple business transaction. Um. He is president of, of what? of this fire and something and he is in with them where are my whole clues I found in the previous uh, in the previous case they, they should be here why, why do, don't I have them in, in my notebook I can only doubt this I think what is it with you people? How can you live any better? You already have houses, cars, yachts. Greed and avarice are very powerful forces for change, Jack. Combine that with the city's desire for progress and it's a very heady cocktail. You need to be a very special man to be able to resist that. Tell me about the Suburban Redevelopment Fund. You're talking about the future of Los Angeles. You cannot interfere with these plans. Information, Curtis. Business people who have joined forces to meet the demand for new homes. Mm, no. You're lying, Curtis. They're going to burn those movie sets they call houses, and you're carrying the insurance on them. And how do you prove that, Jack? Yeah. How do we prove that? We've proved that with the... I don't know. This isn't really a proof of it, is it? I thought not. Now help me up, Jack, and I'll give you a ten minutes start before I go for the phone. Yeah. <sighs> Why the big payoff in the Buckwalter case? It was bound to bring it to attention. Who could have predicted this particular confluence of events? Elsa Lichtman as the beneficiary who spurns the cash. 
the brilliant but flawed detective becoming her lover, and you, Jack, taking their bait. You buy green lumber and use it to build houses. How do you expect it to end? Mr. Monroe has a fine reputation for building houses. What would I know about his choice of building materials? Well, you know pretty... Pretty much. You smug son of a bitch. You're lying again. It's an insurance scam, pure and simple. And how do you prove that, Jack? My assessors wrote the policies on the houses. Well, I know there is this inferior lumber used. Ha! Huh. I think we forgot. I only approve the reports, Jack. I'm the rubber stamp. This doesn't come back to me. Very neat, Curtis. Maybe I can't work it out, but Phelps can. He may be many things, but he is one of the best detectives the LAPD has ever had. Hmm. Maybe I have forgotten some of my evidence in my... In the, in the clinic I was there, where, where I was. Is it possible? I have no... None of the proofs and clues I... I found. Wait. I need to set the destination first. Huh? Maybe we haven't s we haven't seen everything in his apartment. Maybe there is something something else. We've seen this. California Fire and Life Company is in consideration with a premium of $1,000 per annum ensures addition fields development against all losses and damage. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Well, I should have seen this before. I knew you were in bed with a lesion, Curtis. Yes. Yes, I should I should have seen this. Your card is marked, Jack. You'll have an unfortunate accident if you don't leave town. Your California isn't the same as mine, Mr. Benson. Not at all. So what? Do we have now? But I can't. Yeah, I I should have seen this before. Let's go to California Fire and Life. Ah, oh, too bad, too bad. I really should have searched the place properly before... before the interrogation. But let's see what we will find here. Maybe when Cole takes over, we will get it together somehow. Thank you. 
into the battle with the people unarmed. The main reason Pan is so jolly is that I'm just going up to my office party. Yeah. Gotta check over some files. Take the elevator. First door on the right when you come out. You know the way, Kelso. <laughs> yeah, the I know hell? the way, but I don't know where the elevator is. Yeah. Maybe I don't want to be here in this office. I'll probably go to. I swear this town is going straight to hell. To Curtis Benson's office. But once I'm here, I can see whether there is anything of importance here. So, Curtis, what is it you don't want me to see? Four degrees, four minutes, twenty-nine seconds north. One hundred eighteen degrees, seventeen minutes, fifty-eight seconds west. Well, that's the coordinates of the house. It's nothing special, is it? There's got to be more in these files. Insured replacement value for the house is nine hundred dollars. Current value of the house and land is thirty-five hundred. Hmm. Christ, how many of these dumps are we carrying on the books? I have a detective Phelps of the LAPD here to see you. Have a seat, Cole. Where's the go-between? She's awful easy on the eye for a foreign girl. Does that private dick patter actually work on anyone, Kelso? It's not your style. You were always a little more direct. This is your dime, officer. Would you have helped me if I asked, Jack? A little chuck on the shoulder, shot of Semper Fi. Fuck you, Cole. Be a man. Why send a woman to do your dirty work? You're a cop. Why do you want my help? I thought a PI might be a little more discreet. I'm no gumshoe. I used to be an investigator for this company before your investigation got me fired. Sorry to hear that, Jack. I'm sorry about a lot of things. Is that an apology, Cole? It's a feeble attempt at one, yes. Look, Jack, it's a murder case, and I need help to solve it. So what's it got to do with Elysian Fields' developments? I ran it somehow. The flyers keep turning up whenever I find a domestic fire. They're boosters. Stiffing GIs for deposits, making them wait months for a throw-up house. They're already making more money than they can count. What's turned them into killers? So you believe me? This is why you dragged me into the Buckwalter case. Look, Jack, I'm sorry. But if not for me, do it for some of the poor saps who are dying. Or some of the leathernecks who are getting grifted. How about it, Jack? I know you, Cole. You're still beating yourself up over that metal on sugar loaf. The medal you think you didn't deserve, but you just don't get it. Nobody deserves a medal. It's just the ridiculous situation you find yourself in and how you react to it. You think you failed up on that hill. But courage isn't a tap you could turn on or off. Courage isn't permanent. It's a tenuous and fickle thing. Courage and cowardice exist in every man. Get over it. You got it off your chest. I guess I have. Hmm. Can you help me, Jack? I'm thinking about it.
The Hall of Records is the place to start.